All right. So I thought I'd go over what my um, new build is. So it's a Inquisitor Kinetic Bolt Instacker. Um, this is my wand here, and it's the whole reason I'm an Inquisitor. So at the at the moment, a lot of tricksters are going that side, sort of meta, um, especially because they got like Energy Shield Overleech in that, which obviously the Inquisitor doesn't have, and that's like really good. Uh, but the whole reason that I went Inquisitor uh, is because I crafted this wand here and I was trying to craft it for a trickster because that's what I initially was thinking I'd go. Um, but what happened was, if you see on the prefixes there, I got the two mods you want, which is the spell damage per 16 int and uh, lightning damage to attacks per int. Um, but when I unveiled um, a prefix on it, I got uh, lightning damage and I didn't get any elemental penetration, which is what I was going for. And because of that, I was like, well, I'll just go Inquisitor then. They don't care about elemental uh, penetration. And the reason is, um, if you look at the Inquisitor Ascendancy, um, they give this, which is critical strikes, ignore enemy monster elemental resistance. Um, and you have 100% crit chance uh, because of having eight power charges and also um, you get one percent increased critical strike chance per point of strength or int and your strength is going to be lower because you're an int stacker so that gives 370 percent increased chance to crit so it's really easy to to get critical strike ch uh, chance capped as an inquisitor uh, if i have a look at my offense there um, my crit chance is at 78% and as soon as I get like 4 power charges it's going to be capped at 100 uh, which is very quick and you can see my stats there um, also I wanted to take advantage of um, a couple of other things so I found this shield here you can see it's um, armor ES um, but it's synthesized and it has plus one to maximum power charges and also 6% increased intelligence. Uh, so yeah, so I bought this shield. Um, so that's an advantage of, uh, yeah, the, to ignore the prefixes on this, i got to fix those, but the suffixes are, are what I want there. Um, so that's an advantage of going kind of off meta as well as I could buy better gear and I did the same with the helm here. See the helm's got plus one to power charges, and this only cost me like 10, 15 div. Um, and plus intelligence as well. Um, and then this here, uh, I crafted this. Um, I got the base and crafted the rest. Um, it's pretty bad. I don't actually need a lot of the stuff on it. I don't need the lightning resistance. Don't need obviously the stun and block recovery. So this is all this is is int and some energy shields. And a determined reservation efficiency, which is, um, but yeah, and Nimbus, there, yeah. uh, Mage Blood, of course. I uh, got some Tailwind and Elusive boots uh, on there. Oh yeah, eight link gloves, which are pretty, yeah, pretty normal for kinetic belt. And these are armor ES as well, um, so I crafted the, these as well. Um, so, because if I've got gloves, my helmet, and my boots, so armor and energy shield, I can take this mastery here, which gives 100% increased armor and energy shield from equipped body armor. Um, and that stacking with the uh, Wildwood Ascendancy, which doubles defenses from equipped body armor, if it's got, which it doesn't have any socket of gems in. Um, that means I get a lot more energy shield than I would otherwise have. Um, I also am running Discipline as well. Um, and because I'm Pendic Bolt of Fragmentation, I had a lot of monsters um, like very quickly, like all the time. And because of that, I got the Watcher's Eye. Uh, that gives 
gain 29 energy shield per enemy hit while affected by discipline so that gives you like kind of instant um instant life yeah, which is great i've also got um ghost reaver so it doubles the life leech goes up to um basically 20 percent of your total energy shield instead of only 10 percent uh so that gives me something around 2600 2500 energy shield per second leech uh, which is good and yeah got some cluster gem uh, cluster jewels and pretty standard tree i'm gonna eventually take this cluster here maybe even take this armor mastery so i can get the 10 percent of physical damage from hits taking this chaos damage at the moment the other mastery is stronger um but yeah that's another option eventually as well i have to kind of hold off upgrading until i get the better better flesh and flames that i'm after i'm going to be getting uh, sanctuary of thought which is the um guardian no no it's the hierophant um mastery that gives like 50 percent less mana cost of skills and 25 percent increased mana reservation efficiency and also uh, some of your mana is es which is like a huge mastery but the forbidden fish and flames are really expensive on that so farming for that still uh, apart from that it's pretty standard tree uh, i got this uh, mark wheel here so i can have frenzy charges it gives you instant max frenzy charges pretty much when you're on a boss um but yes the sense is i got this consecrated ground increased damage taken to enemies um, that's a 15 percent more multiplier basically because it adds to 15 percent after you're doing all your damage to them uh, and this is another this is like a 16 percent more multiplier as well so that's just with how they work um, I could also get uh, that with the battle mage thing um, if I had a spell like cast a lot uh, which I don't at the moment so I'm thinking of that but that gives 30% more damage if you uh, if you have a spell but because I've only got really flame dash like that isn't an instant spell because it, it can't be an instant spell for that and you have to cast it three times in eight seconds and yeah my only one is flame dash at the moment um, so yeah it's yeah i'm still thinking of that there can be cool options to go uh if, if going in that direction as well but yeah that's pretty much um the build just got defensive flasks shocked and stunned so i got a chance to avoid being shot that flask gives me over 100 percent all up and i've got storm shroud uh, so that gives me a chance to avoid all um all elemental ailments so that gives me like immunity to all elemental ailments i can't be stunned mana and some armor as well armor seems it's pretty overrated when you got a lot of es honestly um helps against small hits but that's about it um, you basically your armor starts small hits damage and then you, your stacked up energy shield um, stops you getting killed by the big hits uh, uh, split personality that's just a placeholder until i get um, a massive threat of hope uh, and when i get that i'll drop energy shield leech because uh, that does not really a whole lot for me because i'm never going to be both leeching and on full energy shield because i'm not a trickster and i'll be swapping that for elemental uh, awakened elemental damage uh, when i end up getting that so when i get the massive threat of hope i'll be getting uh, this no, it's to get the uh, life leech and mana leech. Uh, probably not that node. I'll get that node. Uh, um, extra projectile node. Uh, this one as well. And that's about it. So, um, because I'm an Inquisitor, I don't need to get Whispers of Doom. And it's because there's not a whole lot of. Uh, because of the ascendancy um all critical strikes so critical strikes ignore enemy resistances which means like lowering their resistance doesn't do anything either so it treats uh monsters like all their resist their their resist resistance is always zero basically 
So if even if you lower it a lot to negatives, it still doesn't do any more damage for you. Um, so because of that, I don't need to put two curses on. All I need is the mark. And so I've just got that on, that on Spell Stinger somewhere. Yeah, Spell Stinger and Sniper Smoke. Uh, so yeah, got Haste on as Nora. Wrath, Discipline, Determination. Uh, um, but these, I'm going to be swapping these uh, gems around later on when I start min-maxing the build a little bit more. Um, this is still like pretty start, bit of, still had a bit of a start. Um, n none of it's really been matched. Like my prefixes on this are buggered. My ring's not that great. I did craft a craft it a little bit, but I uh, don't need resistances on it, for instance. Um, I did craft a pretty good amulet, but um, I got pretty lucky with this. Um, I've got a video about how to craft this amulet as well. Yeah, it shows how I did it. Um, so it's pretty actually pretty insane. Um, you have to get the prefix, uh, sorry, you have to fix the suffixes first. You do that by spamming essences until you get all attributes. And then you lock the suffixes and you reforge crit and you have a, a try get crit multi basically. After you do get crit multi in the end, um, you lock suffixes and you uh, reforge caster to get the spell damage. Uh, when you have a high enough spell damage eventually, um, you uh, craft suffixes can't be changed and then you ashling and um, then you unveil projectile damage it's a three out of four chance to do that um, and then you craft the maximum energy shield and then you go it's like then you get an absolutely amazing amulet so that's that's how you do it but i've got a video uh, on my channel uh, showing the exact uh, process of that but yeah um so what I'll do is I'll, I'll just do a map and then I'll do some bosses and um, show you that. Uh, what do I do? So I've just been pretty much farming Harbingers all league. Um, I don't usually do the Wildwood, but I'll just do it to show you it. Uh, because Wildwood slows me down. The Harbingers, um, of course, Harbinger drops aren't affected by Wildwood, so pretty pointless to go into there if you're just after farming Harbingers. But since everyone farms Wildwood, I'll just show you what that's like in here. I don't actually look at the map mods, I wonder if it's got anything interesting. I don't actually read that. Probably should have. But I might have also said something interesting. <laughs> Alright, say anything good? Trying to read what, the, what does it say? You always critically hit. Yeah, I already do anyway. Pretty pointless. Uh, I'm gonna avoid the shrines because uh, I'll show you what the build is actually like. Um, you know, not with a. Wait, have I? Oh, I've already got a shrine now. Oh. Whoops. Nah, it's not a good one, it's just like some ice or whatever. It's not like haste or anything, you know? I don't change it too much. So this is a Drock Citadel, so I can get the last piece, so I can, uh, I can show you me feeding to Cirrus again, you know? For old time's sake. Mage Blood Knight.
So that's pretty, pretty solid, like, um, build, does a lot of damage. Tanks quite a lot as well, it's pretty tanky. Especially how you guess with the Mage Bud, you know. Mage Bud's always going to be tanky. Oh yeah, it's got a long way. Oh, what am I? Where am I? Oh, whoops. Accidentally clicked the thing. Might uh, go to single target here. Forbidden tombs are worth nothing in this league, you know? Almost feels like a waste of time picking them up. Or you should remove them from the filter, to be honest. But like a, a lot of them. Ah, I accidentally picked up the, uh... Yeah. Ignore this, guys. Uh, this is me with an OP uh, Gloom Shrine on. So that's the Explodey Shrine. Just picked it up out of habit, really, you know? And how it is. Just zoning out while you're smashing beds. Another cool thing about this Wildwood Ascendancy is you can see all the, like exactly where all the Harbingers, Harbingers are. See all the orange, that orange thing on the map there? That's where the Harbingers are. It'll either be a Harbinger, a map boss, or like a, um, a Rogue Exile, or like a Delirium boss, or a, uh, you know, just something like that. Beyond boss. Those are the only things matter the big orange things. Obviously if you're doing harbingers, it's most likely gonna be a harbinger. So that's really useful. It makes um clearing a map way faster. Um because you can just run to it. I didn't talk about what tincture I have. I just took out the rage on hit tincture pretty much. That's all that really matters. Ideally, I'd get Rage on hit plus some um, projectiles. Oh, right, that's done. But it's impossible to find that at the moment. And it's over a mirror anyway. Alright, so let's do... Uh, and I picked up a lot of random crap. See this one? Put in the single target. So I just swap out fork and chain with uh, volatility, volatility and power charge on grid. Oh wow, okay. Yeah, it's my first time doing these bosses on this character, so. Actually, I might go back to.
So yeah, in my head this can do these bosses, but I haven't actually tested it until now. Thanks for doing alright. Hey, watch his eye. Okay. Got to shaper. Might make it uber shaper. It means I'll have to dodge things. Oh, not very good at that. Okay, I think this is a super crap watch his eye. What do we get? One divine? Nah. Does this thing worth anything? Just gonna put all this stuff away. Okay. Uh, yeah, let's turn it into Uber Shaver. Gonna remember how this. Can't remember how this fight goes. Alright, see how many times I feed.
Oh no! <laughs> I got hit by one too many. Hmm. I think if I just stop running and just flame dash around during that page, I should be alright. Because that will give me like 7% regen a second, which is like about a thousand ES a second regen. And then I can just tank the bullet, the stuff. Right, where am I going? Oh no. Yeah, okay. If, yeah, if I just stand there, it's fine. Yeah, okay, nice. I now I know that. I can just stand there and I'm fine with that. Nice. That's cool to know. Cool. Um, Alright, now I'll do source. Oh no! Wait. Oh no, I put the fragment back. I thought I didn't pick it up. Sweet. Ah, I'm not going to fall for this again. There we go. There only so many times I died to corrupted blood. Yeah, this build isn't immune to that, but... It you don't really need to be in maps because you just leech so much uh, with both the normal leech and the uh, uh, ES on hit with the discipline watches I I'm gonna eventually get a corrupted blood storm shroud uh, eventually but for now just hitting that um pantheon's fine Oh, there he is. <laughs> I thought he's still up, up top.
Maybe I should have gone to the service. Uh, this build, I've got a lot to improve on. Oh, so I don't really want to push it. Yep. Okay, he's just getting phased. So I don't know if you haven't fought Cirrus before, you have to find a way to get under him and that brings him off his seat and stops this uh, storm crap. Yeah, nice. Okay, well, definitely wasn't as hard as my last Cirrus. <laughs> Alright, well, it's good to know about this character. Man. The big difference that not being melee can make, <laughs> even though I am pretty much like standing in melee range still. My first time doing Cirrus on this character, so I had no idea what to expect, to be honest. Um, Alright, uh, see the size of this? It's a medium, which uh, is worth... 60 gauss sweet gross to me and yeah anyway that's uh this build i'll chuck a pob uh, down below and yeah thanks for watching please like and subscribe and i'll catch you later see you